ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of an ILS Proton rocket from the Baikonur Kazatrome in Kazakhstan, carrying the NIMIC-5 communications satellite. My name is Veronica Navarro and I'm an operations engineer. I had probably two teachers tell me that I'm good at math and so maybe I should go into engineering. And I had no idea what engineering was and I thought it had to do, I thought it was like a train conductor. I thought it would be like on the train and I'd be wearing that cute striped hat. Well, I like Star Wars and Apollo 13 and all, so I was like, maybe aerospace sounds more interesting to me out of the options, which is like mechanical, civil, civil electrical. Space Systems Laurel, we do satellite TV, like direct TV, and we do satellite radio, like for Sirius radio. We manufacture the satellites here, and I feel like I'm in the spotlight. I'm where all the action happens because I'm there when it launches. I make sure that it launches and it's in its correct parking spot, and then we give the satellite over to the customer and make sure that they're happy with it. So a typical day for me when I'm sitting on console, I'm actually going to sit there and monitor the entire spacecraft health. I'll wait for engineers to come and tell me if they have any updates, like if a temperature is going to be different than what they expected. I'll set alarms for them, and when it goes outside of the range that they thought was going to be okay, it'll alarm and then I could let them know what's going on. Can you go ahead and sign this limit change request, please? Sure, no we use a lot of computers, so I have my own personal computer as well as a workstation that consists of four computer monitors to monitor all the different subsystems. Power, the thermal, make sure everything, like the batteries are working and the heaters are working and nothing's getting overheated or get too cold. Enjoy the ride. I love the movie like Armageddon and Apollo 13 where it's like a room full of engineers. Every time we have a launch, I still get the chills. It's like watching a movie or something, like an exciting movie and I'm watching it and it's happening real time. I love that when I could send a command to the satellite that's like 30,000 miles away and I know it's going to be up there like forever. Like every time we launch a new satellite, there's new hardware, new tools that we're using, new ideas that have been implemented, and I like to see them at work and learn about them and then watch it like from down here. To be here at Space Systems Laurel, I just had to get my Bachelor's of Science in Aerospace Engineering, and once I was here, they offered to pay for more schooling that would help me increase my opportunities, and I wanted to take full advantage of that, so I got a Master's in Business Administration, so an MBA, and then a Master's in Systems Engineering. The advice I would give to high school students is that they take all the classes they can, because they're free in high school. A degree is needed because they want to know that you can be trained, and that you will learn, that you're capable of learning. Once you're in your job, that's where you learn the bulk of what you're going to be doing and it'll be a lot different once you're there in your career. It'll be a lot more interesting, trust me. <laughs>